Okay, we welcome the Come to Hong Kong scheme recently announced by Hong Kong Chief Executive Kerry Lam. Now, any travel reopening is good news for travelers. And at the same time, it is welcome respite for the local tourism economy in Hong Kong, which has been battered as a result of COVID-19. More importantly, we hope that this scheme will act as a precursor for more such travel corridors to form with other countries and destinations. Um, like we said earlier, this is a first step, but it is an important first step, which will pave the way for quarantine-free travel uh, later on in the, in the next few quarters. Uh, I certainly do hope it is a precursor to more safely, of course. Uh, as, as Expedia, as a travel management booking type app, what are you seeing in terms of trends from right here in Singapore regards to travel, given that there have been just slightly few more options tabled in the last month or so? Well, first I'd like to point out that Singaporeans have, you know, have been a very prolific uh, traveller lot, um, according to an Expedia global uh, vacation deprivation study. Singapore ranked number one in the world as the most vacation deprived. Pre-2020, pre-COVID, we were already traveling for leisure on average 3.5 times per year. Now we've seen that demand grow uh, during the COVID uh, period, and we're optimistic about the recovery of travel. We're already seeing such trends grow for international, on average 5% week on week. Now many of them are exploring long haul travel, and in particular, European destinations are trending very strongly with an average length of stay of 10 nights or more. We've also noticed that travelers are starting to explore destinations in cities that are perceived to be doing well in managing COVID-19. Now, some of the uh, re uh, reasons contributing to uptick in travel, special travel lanes for vaccinated travelers, like ETLs, that do away with quarantine, as well as the year-end school holidays and the likelihood of year-end family reunions as people travel across countries to be with their families and loved ones. Now, uh, Expedia data indicates that search for travel for the second half of 2021 has grown 70% compared to the first half. Most will be keen to return to popular destinations as they look to rediscover travel and European markets will be strong in demand. Now, according to the right. flight search trends on Singapore Expedia, um, we have Munich, Berlin, New York, okay. London and Hong Kong making up the top five destinations. And what sort of advanced bookings have you seen for the month of December? Good morning, can we join in this conversation, uh, Jubin? No problem. Um, so Munich, Berlin, New York, London, and Hong Kong are the biggest uh, kind of uh, searched, most searched uh, destinations within uh, uh, the Singapore uh, point of sale. And we're seeing strong interest in other European destinations. Now, um, I think many are still adopting a, uh, a watch and see approach, um, but we expect that uh, bookings will definitely uh, see an uptick as we age closer to the year end school holidays. At the same time, uh, our search data also shows that more than 50% of demand today are still for domestic. So this is an indication that staycations continue to be a very relevant uh, and convenient travel option for vacation deprived Singaporeans.